Number one ranked and undefeated Steel Knights student section rocking Lenhoff Stadium tonight for the first round of the postseason against number 11 Johnson. Second quarter, the Knights with a 10-3 lead. Then we'll add to that. Quarterback Chad Warner takes a snap, pump fakes, and fires deep to the wide open Royal Capel on the 34-yard strike. That was 17-3 Steel. The final from Lenhoff, 34-17 Steel's moving on. The Churchill Chargers renewing their rivalry with the Justin Rockets in the first round of the playoffs tonight. First quarter, Rockets down 3 nothing, but about to blast off. Justin on the Churchill 23, quarterback Elijah Favala, play action pass, steps up at the pocket and finds Anthony Evans on the far sideline and sprints to the end zone. Looks like he gets in, but they call him down to the one, so the Rockets cap off that drive, and Nathaniel Stanley runs it in from there. They miss the extra point, 6-3 Judson. The final from Rutledge, 42-5 Judson. Over at Alamo Stadium, YMLA hosting Wimberley in the first round of the Class 4A postseason. First quarter, Lions kicking off after conceding to safety. Caden Heatley feels the ball around the 43-yard line, takes off right up the middle and weaves his way through traffic for the 57-yard kickoff return touchdown. Extra point was good 23 nothing lead the final from the rock pile 81 to nothing Wimberley the stands are packed in Italian to see Sabaton Pettis open the playoffs in class 2A division 2 Yellow Jackets lead 28 to nothing in the second quarter when we arrive Sabaton quarterback Richard Gonzalez keeps it on the option races around the corner to get to the sideline he's going to get knocked out about the two but not before picking up 25 the Yellow Jackets cap off that drive right here Israel Gonzalez goes right up the middle for the score 35 to nothing let's see if they're being able to stay undefeated and they do 43 to nothing nothing Sabanau. Here come the Bandera Bulldogs ready to take on Lago Vista at Warrior Coliseum at Piper High School for the Class 4A by district round. Vikings strike first on their first offensive possession. Ethan Helton gets the handoff on the jet sweep. Coming right at you. Blows by one defender. Runs over another. The goal line for the 32-yard touchdown. They go for two. Convert for the 8-0 lead. The final from the Coliseum. 67-6 Lago Vista. The Pearsall Mavericks made a trip to San Antonio to face Navarro. First quarter, the Panthers pounce. Running back Antoine Mabane takes a handoff, follows his blockers, turns the corner and picks up 20 yards before getting pushed out of bounds. A little later, Navarro on the two-yard line. They give it to Cohen Blunt, who muscles his way in for the touchdown. 6-0 Panthers after the missed extra point. The final from Ferris, 50-8 Navarro. The Jordan Indians hosting their first-round playoff game against Luling tonight. First quarter, the Indians inside the Luling five-yard line. Quarterback Matthew Hicks takes a snap, gets flushed out of the pocket, decides to run it in, leaves into the end zone, gets flipped, but managed to hold on the ball right there for the score. 7-0 Jordan. The final 28-0 Jordan. The Flintonia Bulldogs mascot welcoming us to Davenport Stadium as they take on the Junction Eagles. Bulldogs take control early. Second play of the game, quarterback Fidel Venegas keeps it on the option, follows his blocker, sprints down the near signing. 54 yards untouched of the house. 6 0 Flintonian. After missing the extra point, Bulldogs not done. Next possession, play action pass from Venegas to Dayton Cliff for the 30 yard. Pitch and catch, 12-0 Bulldogs in less than one minute to play. The final from Davenport. Latonia advances, 59-32. Blanco Panther fans packing Hero Stadium to see them take on Poteet at their neutral site. Second quarter, the Panthers lead 7-0. Want more? Quarterback Cameron Anderson on the option read. Looks like he hands it off, but he didn't. He flies down the field on his way to the 82-yard touchdown. 14-0 Blanco. Let's go to the big game cover scoreboard for that final and many more. As you can see right there, Blanco over Poteet, 41-14. There's a final 42-13. Bernie stays undefeated. And number one in sub 5 12s top 12. Shiner over Santa Maria, 54-14. Gerald with a win over Divine, 32-14. And how about Corpus Christi Miller over South Southwest Legacy, 70 to 34. Medina Valley falls to Veterans Memorial to Corpus Christi, 70 to 14. How about Catula falling to Lano, 44 to nothing. Holland over Stockdale, 36 31, knocking out another local area team. Thorndale over Johnson City, 41 to 30. And Fall City gets by Bremen, 40 to 36. And don't forget tomorrow night, live right here on KSAT 12, New Braunfels Unicorns take on the Reagan Rattlers. Kickoff at just after 7 at 7.08, but our pregame show starts at 6.30.